be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up on the video if you like today's content. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Now today we're gonna be covering how to make lo-fi melodies, okay? Some, some real good tips on how to make lo-fi melodies. Now, in order to start this video out, we need to go ahead and create a software instrument track. Um, in order to do so, we're just going to push create, make sure software is selected and under instrument, make sure it's a default patch. All right. From there, what we're going to do is immediately go ahead and put a uh, plug in on this track called vinyl. All right. I, I covered this in actually the last video um, on how to download vinyl or free lo-fi plug in. But you want to go ahead and grab this plug in and then put this on um this track okay so didn't mean to do that we'll scroll down here audio units we're gonna go to isotope and go to vinyl all right all right so this is the vinyl plug-in this is going to be the base of everything when it comes to um creating lo-fi melodies you want to pretty much throw this on all of the tracks that you do for the most part um you can affect how it sounds based on certain things make it sound more glitchy by pushing up the scratch dusty by putting that up wear and tear you're going to hear like more rack uh rec record scratch like sounds like basically it's um it's, it's an old vinyl record you know obviously vinyl plug-in um but for the most part I'm, i like this plug-in for the warp okay um the warp is a real good way to instantly make your stuff sound dope um but anyway once you get this on here what we want to do is find some type of piano sound okay like maybe like a a classic electric piano those those type of sounds to play something jazzy okay now if you don't know how to play the piano that's cool you don't have to necessarily know how to play all of the different chords and scales and all that fun stuff but I will give you some tips, okay? So like when it comes to finding a melody on your on the piano, say you're not drawing it in. Say if you're like me, you like to actually touch things and different things like that when it comes to music. Um, cool, cool rule of thumb is either mess around with all of the white keys or all of the black keys, and especially for like a vibe, like a jazzy vibe. If you just come on the black keys and just start messing around, you really can't go wrong. And I know this is not necessarily like a, a music theory, a proper music theory tip or anything like that but it's a producer tip for sure so let me just show you you know what i'm saying like literally I'm, i have musical typing out i'm just gonna mess around literally with playing all the black keys i'm not touching any white keys and you're gonna see how literally you can just come up with dope melodies and dope stuff just using the black keys so i'm freestyling right now And another tip, tip here when it comes to like, you know, your lo-fi joints is really just to kind of keep this, the, the pattern simple. And it's kind of repetitive, to be honest with you. It's something kind of to vibe off to, put you in kind of like a, a trancey feel. And so like really what I just played, I could just repeat that over and over again, maybe here and there, add a little different nuance to it. But for the most part, that's it. Um, so let's go ahead and lay something like that down here. And like I said, I just came over here and just started messing around on the black keys. And you said you saw, you saw how I added that extra note just to add a little variation. So then on the second run through, add an extra little note there. You see what I'm saying? You could just do little stuff like that just to make it, you know, set a little different. Uh, so let's go ahead and lay it down. Let's find the BPM first, though. We're going to turn on the metronome. I'll just push play to get make sure that, it, you know, everything's on point. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So that's that's the tempo we're gonna go with. I'm gonna go ahead and push R to record. All right, bet. So we got something down here. The key to this is to keep going and not like get overly stressed about this, right? You want to keep things simple. And um, another tip I want to really drive home in this is you don't have to necessarily come in and make everything sound perfectly quantized when it comes to lo-fi music. So like what I want to do here is quantize certain notes. So um, like this first note, definitely gotta be quantized because it's the first note of the loop. So quantize this, that note, you feel me? So let's listen to it. And if you do wanna quantize everything, what you could do is still quantize it, but make sure you also turn the strength down some. Cause you want it to get, have a natural vibe to it. All right, bet. So we pretty much have our first element of our melody here. Um, let's go ahead and mess around with this vinyl plugin some more. I feel like it needs a little bit more vinyl vibe to it. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we got that plug-in going. Um, I kind of sometimes don't like having some of the, so much dust on this because, let me see here. Yeah, that dust sometimes could be too much. So this is good, we got everything rolling. All right, so yeah, it has the right feel to it. It's laid back, it's chill. Those are the type of things that you want to go for when it comes to creating your, your lo-fi melodies. Um, the second thing here, we want to go ahead and create some more tracks just to make it sound more uh, full. Um, now, what one tip that I could give you is that you can actually do something called layering. And this is where we're going to actually basically double this same pattern and just change up the actual instrument. So it's going to be saying, playing the same thing, but the instrument is going to be different. So what I could do is mute this first one out and then find an instrument that would, you know, work well with this, but not be the same deal. So let's do something like maybe this flying circus piano.
And you just hear how this is pretty much a little dope vibe here, real chill vibe. We'll throw that um, plug in back on it. We're gonna take the dust off of this and we're just gonna only keep the warp. I'll probably turn that up some. So we got that. Um, another thing you could do is just go ahead and create another track and we're just gonna add a little bit of variation to the pattern here. Um, like I said, for the most part, like a major, major key is if you don't know how to play the piano that well or if you just wanna get out here and vibe without having to think about music theory and all that and fine chords and all that, just, just play the black keys, you'll be straight. give you like a you know starting point anyway let's go ahead and start um, adding some to this I'm thinking about adding like maybe some type of horns let's see what we can come up with and what I like to do is just go ahead and push play and let everything kind of play in the background while I pretty much kind of freestyle some type of a uh, uh, riff that I like cool so I have a vibe of what I want to do here um, I'm gonna go ahead and lay some down same thing here when it comes to quantitizing you're going to go ahead and quantitize it but you don't want it to sound so like unnatural. So like what I'll do is hold down like shift. That first note definitely has to be on point, but all these other notes, I can like turn the strength down just to give it more of a natural play. cool so basically move the notes around figured out like you know different things that I like want to put in here and, and add in here and I feel like this is a pretty good start to a dope melody um, and actually lo-fi beat um, if you really look at the elements that I, I got here I have electric piano okay I have a layer with another electric piano and then I have horns for the most part from the music that I've listened to you're gonna hear some 
horns and you can hear some electric piano and probably also bass and again what you want to think and keep in mind here is jazz okay but distorted jazz if you will okay unorthodox jazz nothing that's super too complicated so uh, let's continue to build this i'm gonna actually probably just do one more track here and i'm thinking i'm gonna just do like a bass all right and i'm using a lot of these stock ones because they have some pretty dope um you know stock like piano sounds different things of that nature so let me go to bass here and i'm gonna find something that could work So that's not going to be the right one. Okay, I like that bass. Same concept here where I'm just going to play what I have and then like freestyle something until I find something that will work well with. And again, you want to keep things simple. So let's go. Keep it keeping it simple. Let's let's go ahead and lay that down. And pretty much this is really ready to go here. Um Listen, yo, we're going to go ahead and end it here. If you want to um, watch the remaining of me making this beat, check out the next video. Make sure you also go to my, my site, beatmakingbasics.com. I have lots of dope courses that you can get, very affordable prices, and also drum and sound kits. But without further ado, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you stay tuned in. Make sure you get subscribed. And make sure you give a thumbs up on the video if you like the content. I'll see you in the next one. We're out. Peace.